Over the last few days, I've received so many of your shape puzzles. They have been amazing. And I have to say, amazingly challenging as well. For some of them, it's been really hard for me to figure out the answers. Um, and so well done on finding them, inventing them. We're gonna have a look at three of them. Now, we're gonna work the other way around today. We're gonna start by um, you doing your independent work. We're gonna try and answer some of those puzzles. And then we're gonna see how you can use those skills to answer a range of more uh, of tasks, word problems and, and other kind of tasks. So I think today's work is going to be really, really useful. Let's get going. So everyone, we're working in a slightly different order to normal. ICMaths.com, from wherever you're viewing the lessons, let's say it's Home Learning Year 5 and 6. Uh, and just like normal, if you look from wherever you're watching the video, if you look at the link underneath and you click on, uh, click on that link, it will bring up today's task. We're actually going to start here today. So my suggestion is you choose two of these three puzzles to have a go at. Um, they're fantastic. The last one, eye-wateringly difficult. Um, now, there aren't any answers today either. Um, the answers will actually be broken down and shown on the video. Now, if you need any help with the puzzles, if you're really stuck, you might watch part of the video and um, shown those tasks being broken down and then complete the rest of the puzzle but enjoy the three cracking tasks. So let's have a look at these three questions. Hopefully you've already had a really good go at at least two of them. Let's have a look at the thought process behind answering them. Uh, so for this one, I started with the hearts. Three hearts in a row equals 15. Each heart worth five. 15 divided by three is five. I, I then went for the flower next because I knew that two hearts uh, are 10 and then plus how much more to make 21 flower must be 11 I then went for the cats so I subtracted this 11 from this the value of this row leaving 14 here um, to make 25 so I thought each cat must be worth 7 and then I came to the rainbow and I actually started from this bottom row here so I went for 5 plus 7 is 12 and then I, to add the rainbow to make 20 I think the rainbow must be worth an 8 there we go. Um, so, oh, this was a cracker. Love this one here. Um, there isn't one line with all the shapes in. So what I did, I need to compare the lines. And I thought, well, I've got a circle and two pentagons compared to a circle and three pentagons. So one extra pentagon here uh, than here. So this is 13. That extra pentagon makes this total go from 13 up to 17. So it must be four. Um, then I went back to my original line. I thought four, eight, five more to make this line 13 in total for the circle. Um, and then just the star. So any line with a star on. Um, let's say, let's go for this one here. So 19 subtract five is 14. Stars, I think, are going to be worth seven. Um, this task was so challenging. It almost made me laugh. Um, we had um, we have th this line here, so two circles and a star equals 36. It's going to be a challenge for me now. Um, two circles and two stars, though, on this bottom row, 44. So I was thinking, well, this extra star here is the difference between 36 and 44. The star must be worth 8. Um, so then I went back to the circle. So I thought, let, let's say the star is 8 here. So 36 subtract that 8. Um, will get me to 28. So that means 28 divided by those two. Each circle I think is worth 14. Um, then um, let's go for the parallelogram here. So if we've got um, we've got two circles there, which are 14 each, so that's 28. Um, and then so something plus 28 equals 124. Now I made that to be 96 which I didn't expect. Um, and then uh, all that leaves then I guess is our square. So let's have a look at this at this top line. We've got 96 plus that 14, 110, um, plus the 8, 118. So unless I'm mistaken, I think the square has got to be worth 80. What an incredible question. So hopefully now you're developing real skill with those shape puzzles. I want to make the connection now between the shape puzzles and actually lots of different like number stories, which I know children can find really difficult trying to understand what operation to do. So we're going to look at some complex problems and see how they're actually very similar to the shape puzzles. 
So today's video, I think you're going to find super, super useful. We've had a look at this example already. So a circle plus a rectangle equals 11. A circle plus three rectangles equals 27. So I have to think, well, what's different? Two extra rectangles adds 16. Each rectangle must be worth eight. And then each circle must be worth three. We've looked at this structure already. Let, let's see if we can make a link though to a story. Let's say here, an apple and an orange cost 40p. An apple and three oranges cost 90p. How much does an apple cost? Now, if I'm trying to draw a picture to represent this, it might look like one of our puzzles. It might look like this. So the green circles representing the apples and imaginatively the orange circles representing the oranges. Um, now, pause the video and see, is this helpful? How can you work out the value of an apple? Well, let's have a look. So when I have two extra oranges, that's um, 50p more. So each orange, 25p. And then again, if I look at that top line, I could think 25p plus how much for one apple equals 40p. Of course, it will be 15p. So let's recap on another example that we've used and see how it can help us to solve different kind of problems as well. We've seen this one before. So the rhombus plus the pentagon equals 10. The rhombus plus the triangle equals 11. The triangle plus the pentagon equals 9. Um, if we look at the, this top line, we can see, well, this triangle is one more than the pentagon. So we look at the bottom line and think, well, which two combination of numbers with a sum of 9 have got a difference of 1? Of course, it would be 5 and 4. Um, with the triangle being the five because it's more and then of course we can look at the value of the rhombus so we've, we've had a look at this example it's very similar mathematically to this context problem which i think a lot of children would find very challenging uh, a pear and a banana cost 45p a pear and a plum cost 35p a banana and a plum cost 40p how much does each fruit cost now your task is this pause the video how can you do a drawing like a shape puzzle to help you to break down and understand this question? So just what will the drawing look like? Pause the video and have a go. Okay, I'm gonna show you my example drawing. Yours might not look the same, but this is what mine looked like. I went for um, a green circle plus a yellow circle equals 45. So the green circle represents the pear and the yellow one represents the banana. Um, green circle plus a uh, red circle equals 35. So the red circle is the plum. And then again, I finished with my banana and my plum here that equal 40p. Can you see, really, it's the same as, as the example we looked at before. Um, so then let, let's say if I'm looking, the green circles are the same. So if I compare my red to my yellow, I can see that my red is 10 less than my yellow because that difference between 45 and 35 is 10p. So I've got these two fruits. The banana is more and it's 10p more um, than the plum. And so then using the technique we've looked at in a previous video, I've got to think, well, the difference is 10p. The sum is 40p. Um, so then the banana must be 25p and the plum must be 15p. Um, then I can use that to think, well, the pair then, just complete that number sentence, it must be worth 20p. I hope you can see how these different maths ideas are actually connected. Now, there's no other work for you to go away and do. We're going to pick up this theme again tomorrow. And again, hopefully you're going to find it super, super helpful to answer lots of different types of maths problems. I will see you back here again tomorrow. And well done for getting this far.